Hello and welcome Ridley community. Welcome to the November edition of the Headmasters Headlines. As we did last month in October, we are engaged in a new format with the Headmasters Headlines in the form of a student interview uh, with me asking a number of questions about things that are happening uh, at Ridley and my thoughts on, on uh, sort of a more global picture. I'm really excited to welcome this morning our uh, November interviewer, Miss Charlotte Westcott, who is a school prefect and a grade 12 student here at Ridley. Welcome, Charlotte, and thanks very much for joining me. Well, thank you for having me. So we recently held the 126th Upper School Cross Country Run, and 126, so it's obviously one of our school's oldest traditions. And so can you tell me a little bit more about the importance of tradition at Ridley? Uh, that's a great, great question, Charlotte. Um, traditions, obviously, at a school like Ridley that is 128 years old, uh, traditions play a, a really foundational uh, sort of part of who we are as a community. Uh, in some ways, you know, traditions hold a community together, whether it's a school community or any other form of, uh, of, of community. And um, uh, traditions are so important that we, uh, it's, it's, it, it forms one of our strategies in our overall strategic plan, Inspiring, Flourishing Lives to Transform Our Globe. It's strategy number four, it's called Tradition and Culture. And uh, in that strategy, we attempt to sort of balance how do we become, in all schools that are old like Ridley uh, have this challenge, how do we balance uh, innovation and uh, trying to become increasingly a learning institution and being more modern and, and uh, um, balance that with uh, the best from our past, you know, and those sort of traditions and rituals that we engage in generation after generation that makes us feel kind of connected to something much bigger than ourselves. And I think that's really the, the, the that, that in a nutshell in my mind is the, is the strength of foundation of, of traditions that uh, we have at Ridley Park. So, in light of Diversity Week, which was just held in November, can you tell mm -hmm. me a little bit more about how diversity is, is defined at Ridley? Yeah, great. Um, diversity also is, uh, is something that uh, is, is very much part of our DNA at Ridley, I think, um, and has been for many years. It's something that Ridleyans, it distinguishes, I think, the Ridley community, uh, and has, as I say, for many years and many decades. Um, diversity in some ways uh, allows us to mirror the greater sort of Canadian society uh, that we are a part of. Uh, we say we are a Canadian school, we embrace globalism, we, we embrace students from all over the world, um, but that we are at our heart, we are a Canadian institution. And I think that begs the question, what does that mean? And increasingly that means uh, pluralism, tolerance for different perspectives, um, and, and diversity, diversity of opinion, uh, diversity of experience, right? And that, that is achieved at Ridley through internationalism. We have 55 different nationalities. We have a whole range of different religious backgrounds and beliefs. Um, we have a, a diversity of, obviously, of gender, of age, um, of gender identity, increasingly. And at Ridley, um, as in the broader society, we are sort of increasingly uh, engaged in a conversation and a dialogue as to how can we be even more inclusive and tolerant of, of differences and diversities, knowing, as, as I think the, 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 uh, the Prime Minister, Prime Minister Trudeau, articulates so eloquently, knowing that that is a strength of our community, right? When you are diverse, you are more free, and I think it, it uh, allows um, individuals and the community as a whole to flourish. And so it's, it's really important, really. I'm quite proud of, uh, of, of the fact that we celebrate diversity. So I noticed the sign near the edge of campus for the Ridley Family Guild Christmas Market. Yes. And that always gets me really happy because I love all <laughs> like the bowls and the soap and the food. And so can you tell us more about the event and the Family Guild? Yeah, don't forget the cookies. Oh, don't forget yes, yes, the candy the cookies, canes. The cookies, the candy canes. And Santa Claus. Santa, of course. Of course, you <laughs> cannot forget Santa. <laughs> Uh, Christmas, uh, Christmas Market is a wonderful community event um, hosted and organized by our wonderful volunteers in the Ridley College Family Guild. Um, I don't know how many years we've been doing the Christmas Market, but I do know that when we, it was first uh, started at Ridley, it was so small, it was hosted in the basement of Kenyon Lett House, the Headmaster's House. Uh, and it has grown over the years uh, to be, a th this year, a three-day event, November 30th to December 2nd, and it consumes the entire field house. Uh, that's how big it is. And uh, uh, it is, uh, it's just a wonderful community event, an opportunity for, uh, uh, to, to do some early Christmas shopping, 
uh, yeah, there are student uh, performances and, and musical uh, opportunities for, for parents to see their kids. And of course, Santa Claus always shows up. So great community event. And uh, it's one of the, the primary events that the Family Guild hosts every year uh, in their mission of, of supporting Ridley College through fundraising and friend raising. And, uh, and we are so happy and, and uh, grateful for the Family Guild and their support. Yeah, well said. So I know I'm a rugby player. You were also a rugby player. So, <laughs> can you tell me what your position was and <laughs> is, maybe, and uh, a little bit more about what you think about rugby at Ripley? Okay, all right. Uh, it's not rugby season, Charlotte, but I know it's, I'm it's in, on your I'm mind. I'm in rugby so. training, okay? Yeah, okay. I'm all running right. for rugby, <laughs> so I, it's on my mind. <laughs> great. Yeah, no, I love rugby. Uh, I, I didn't play growing up. I, I was a football player, uh, but post-football, uh, the natural sport for me to... Uh, to jump into was rugby, and I fell in love with it, uh, both as a player and then later as a coach. And uh, yeah, I was a center, an inside center, and, and then I became a fly half, and then I, as I got older and I was playing with younger guys, I became an eight man, and a six, and a seven, and uh, occasionally I often even play prop. Uh, so it's <laughs> quite, a, quite a journey from being a center <laughs> to being a prop, for those of you who know, who know rugby. But I love it, I think it's a great varsity sport. Uh, I'm so happy that we have such a strong tradition of uh, female rugby at Ridley. Uh, and our boys program is largely uh, focused on sevens rugby, which is a, a great new form of the sport, and yeah, yeah. it's really exciting. Yeah, yeah I love it. I'm, yeah. I'm, I love the fact that you play. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, great. it's my favorite sport. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you very much, Charlotte. Uh, yeah. You did a great job, and uh, I, I really appreciate you being here and asking yeah. me a few questions on behalf of the community. Thanks very much for joining us again, and uh, look forward to seeing you in December for the December edition of Headmasters Headlines.